Rappers love stunting on their haters, and they just love making it rain. The richest rappers in the game have very flashy lifestyles. They do spend copious amounts of money on luxury items, but most of their dough is funneled through lucrative investments to make even more cheddar. Our countdown of the top 10 richest rappers in the world investigates how they've made their massive fortunes. Now let's get started and find out the estimated net worths of these hip-hop tycoons. Number 10. It's no secret that Lil Wayne has made a large amount of money from the music industry. In 2012, he became the first male artist to beat Elvis Presley's record of having the most entries on Billboard's Top 100. And he's been one of the richest rappers in the world ever since. Lil Wayne has made a lot of racks from the hip-hop industry, particularly from live shows. In 2012, Forbes reported that Wheezy performed more than 50 shows and that he banked over $600,000 per show. In that year alone, Lil Wayne earned over $30 million from live performances. Lil Wayne has also made a lot of money from the sale of his music catalog. When he sold his masters to Universal Music Group, it was valued at around $100 million. Another one of Wayne's music-derived income streams is his record label, Young Money Entertainment. He founded the label in 2003 and currently serves as its chief executive officer. The music label has signed several successful artists like Drake, Nicki Minaj, and Tyga. This business venture has allowed Lil Wayne to reap significant financial rewards from the success of his artists. Aside from music, there are various other industries that Lil Wayne generates his income from, and we're going to discuss some of them right now. In 2008, Wayne collaborated with cigar company Bogey Cigars to produce uniquely flavored cigarillos. In early 2012, Wheezy ventured into the fashion industry when he launched TruckFit, a fashion line that features a variety of streetwear-inspired clothing, such as caps, hoodies, and t-shirts. In June of 2012, Lil Wayne signed an exclusive partnership deal with skateboarding shoe brand Supra to create his own line of sneakers. The collection featured unique designs inspired by his personal style. In September of 2012, Wheezy collaborated with Beats by Dre to release his own line of Beats headphones called Tune Chi Beats. Lil Wayne became a prominent ambassador for Beats Electronics and appeared in many commercials for the headphone brand. In October of 2013, Wayne partnered with French watch brand Wise & Ope to launch his own line of watches. This partnership was Wayne's first business venture outside of the United States. In 2016, Lil Wayne ventured into the gaming industry when he released Squad Up, a free mobile video game developed by mobile tech company, Utility. The aim of the game is to skate around and fly on drones, collecting any money you see while avoiding birds and other obstacles. In December of 2019, he launched his own cannabis brand, G Kua Ultra Premium. Now, let's talk about the endorsement deals that have further increased Lil Wayne's net worth and expanded his wealth. Lil Wayne has been passionately involved with premium Caribbean rum brand, Bumbu Rum, and has appeared in many promotional campaigns for the liquor brand. In 2013, Wheezy worked with electronics brand, Samsung, and appeared in a commercial promoting the Galaxy S4 smartphone. In 2020, Lil Wayne became a brand ambassador for UGG, a footwear and clothing brand known for its sheepskin boots. All these endorsement deals, business ventures, and earnings from the music industry has made Lil Wayne's net worth grow to an impressive sum of $170 million, making him the 10th richest rapper in the world. Number 9 
Ice Cube's rap career took off in 1987 with the legendary hip-hop collective, NWA. But unfortunately, things soured, and he left the group two years later in 1989, after realizing that the group's manager, Jerry Heller, was siphoning off most of the earnings for himself. He then teamed up with artists based in New York and embarked on a solo rap career. He released three commercially successful solo albums, but when he found out that the film industry pays a whole lot better than the music industry, he transitioned from making hit records to making box office movies, and he has never looked back ever since. Ice Cube made his acting debut in 1991 with Boys in the Hood, a drama named after a 1987 rap song that he'd written. His performance as Doughboy was widely praised, and this opened doors for more acting opportunities. Since 1991, Ice Cube has acted in nearly 42 films, some of them such as the 1992 thriller Trespass and the 1999 war comedy Three Kings highlight action. But most of his movies are comedies. Cube has starred in several successful comedy films such as Barbershop, are we there yet? And the successful franchise, Friday, which reshaped his public image into a bankable movie star. These box office successes were the main contributing factors that really helped establish Ice Cube's net worth in the 90s. Cube never really made much money from the music industry, but after starring in these comedy films, his fortune grew by tens of millions of dollars. The money really started pouring in when he co-founded Cube Vision, a film production company that brought us the 2015 biopic Straight Outta Compton, the buddy cop comedies 21 and 22 Jump Street, as well as Ride Along, starring Kevin Hart. Ice Cube made his directorial debut with the 1998 film The Players Club and also produced and curated the film's accompanying soundtrack. Cube has been an executive producer of many of the films he starred in. As a film producer, he has been able to leverage his industry knowledge and connections to create profitable film projects, further increasing his net worth. Now, let's talk about Ice Cube's other business interests outside of film and music. Ice has his own clothing line called Solo by Cube, and he has even ventured into the liquor industry by launching his own brand of E and J brandy called Fifth Generation. Ice Cube also has a venture in the sports industry. He's the founder of The Big Three, a professional three-on-three -three basketball league that features retired NBA players. Since its inception in 2017, the league has attracted a lot of lucrative sponsorship deals and has even partnered with CBS Sports to broadcast its games. Ice Cube has been involved in various endorsement deals throughout his career. He has collaborated with Coors Light Beer, as well as St. Ide's Malt Beer. These partnerships and collaborations have provided additional income streams, further bolstering his net worth Today, Ice Cube's net worth is estimated to be around $190 million, making him the ninth richest rapper in the world. Number 8 Master P has been one of the top 10 richest rappers in the world since the late 90s. He started his No Limit record label in the early 90s with a $10,000 inheritance from his grandfather and has since grown it into a huge business empire. Master P's big break came in 1996 when he signed a music distribution deal with Priority Records. No Limit Records retained 100% ownership of their master recordings and kept 85% of their record sales. Priority Records received 15% in return for pressing and distribution. Such a deal was unheard of in the music industry, and still is. The distributor usually takes 80% or more, so Master P must have pulled off some really savvy business moves in order to sign such a great record deal. 
the ice cream man went on to make hundreds of millions of dollars from this deal. In 1998, No Limit Records had made $110 million in revenue, and Master P was ranked 10th on Forbes' list of America's highest paid entertainers. Being the serial entrepreneur that he is, Master P used his newfound wealth to branch out into other business ventures and investments. His first venture outside of music was in the clothing industry. He launched No Limit Clothing, which became famous for its t-shirts featuring the No Limit Tank logo. In 1998, he launched No Limit Sports Management, which handled contract and endorsement negotiations. The sports agency represented former NFL running back Ricky Williams when he was drafted by the New Orleans Saints. Master P also has a hand in the real estate market. He founded PM Properties, a real estate management company with over 100 properties across the United States. In 1997, Master P ventured into the film and television industry by starting his own film production company called No Limit Films. In November of 2010, he founded a cable television network in New Orleans called Better Black Television, making him the first ever rapper to establish a cable TV network. Master P clearly loves food. He has launched a variety of different products in the food and beverage industry, and we're gonna discuss some of them right now. In 2018, he launched Big Papa Burgers. The successful franchise uses secret sauces invented by his grandfather. He then launched Uncle P's, a rice and noodles brand. And he's also responsible for the icon Ramen Noodles, which features famous rappers on its packaging. In February of 2022, Master P signed a 50-50 partnership deal with Snoop Dogg to create Snoop Dogg icon chips the rapper also has his own brand of cookies, which focuses on healthy snacks and treats. Now, let's move on to beverages. Master P has ventured into the beer brewing industry when he collaborated with Budweiser to produce his own brand of beer called No Limit Beer. The rapper also has his own line of energy drinks called Make Em Say Um. These wide range of businesses and investment ventures has made Master P's net worth grow tremendously over the years. His entire fortune is now estimated to be around $223 million, making him the eighth richest rapper in the world. Number 7 Eminem is one of the most successful rappers of the 21st century. He has sold more than 150 million records worldwide, so it's easy to see why he's one of the richest rappers in the world. 80% of Eminem's net worth is derived from the music industry, particularly from live performances and income earned from royalties. The other 20% of his fortune comes from various business ventures and endorsement deals. Now let's talk a little bit about the money he has earned from the hip-hop industry. The Monster Tour with Rihanna in 2015 was his most commercially successful tour, and it earned him $36 million. Eminem also makes millions of dollars from music streaming platforms. He's the eighth most streamed artist on Spotify, and they pay him more than $10 million in royalties every single year. One of the very first business ventures Eminem started in his early rap career was his record label, Shady Records, which he co-founded in 1999 with Paul Rosenberg. Eminem first signed the Detroit-based rap collective, D12, and later signed 50 Cent in a 2002 joint venture with Dr. Dre's Aftermath label. 50 Cent was signed to the label from 2002 to 2014 and released five albums including his debut album, Get Rich or Die Trying, which reportedly brought Shady Records tens of millions of dollars in revenue. Eminem forms part of an exclusive group of famous investors that include Naz and Pharrell, who've invested in lyric-generating website Genius. 
the group helped attract roughly $60 million in investments for Genius since 2011. When it comes to NFTs, Eminem is very active in the NFT marketplace. Not only does he buy a ton of NFTs for himself, but he also invests in NFT companies. The NFT buying and selling platform, Maker's Place, had amassed over $50 million in funding from investors, such as Eminem, Sony Music Entertainment, and Coinbase Ventures. In 2021, Eminem poured $30 million of his own personal funds into this budding NFT platform. In September of 2021, Eminem ventured into the hospitality industry by opening up a spaghetti restaurant in Detroit called Mom's Spaghetti. Slim Shady has been a brand ambassador for several brands throughout his career, and we're going to take a look at some of them. In the early 2000s, Eminem became a brand ambassador for Reebok. He was featured in several ads for the brand, promoting the company's sneakers and sportswear. In 2011, he worked with tea company Lipton to promote the brand's line of iced tea beverages. That same year in 2011, he also worked with Chrysler, promoting the brand's new sedan. In 2013, Eminem starred in a commercial for the popular video game, Call of Duty Ghosts, and also collaborated with Casio G-Shock to release a limited edition watch. In 2014, Eminem partnered with well-known workwear brand, Carhartt, to release a limited edition clothing line. All these various endorsement deals and investments grew Eminem's net worth to $250 million, making him the seventh richest rapper in the world. Eminem is the only rapper on this list who has made the bulk majority of his fortune from the music industry. Number six. Drake's net worth has been a hot topic of discussion during the course of these past few years. Many of his fans see the $200 million Boeing 767 private jet and the $100 million mega mansion and claim he's a billionaire. Now let's just clear up a few things. Champagne Poppy is no doubt one of the richest rappers in the world, but he's not a billionaire rapper yet. He's not even in the top three. Drake didn't actually pay for the private jet. He was given the airplane by CargoJet as part of a sponsorship deal between the rapper and the Canadian airliner. And he has to return the 23-year-old jet after a stipulated time has passed. And now, let's talk about his 50,000-square-foot mansion in Toronto, known as the Embassy. The plot in the prestigious suburb of Bridal Path, where his mega-mansion was built, was bought for $6.7 million. The cost of construction was less than $37 million, but the property's value has since appreciated to $100 million. So technically, Drizzy didn't spend $100 million on the mansion. Since we cleared that up, let's discuss how he made his large fortune. Half of Drake's net worth was earned from concert tours and live performances, but we're gonna focus on the other half, that was earned from various business ventures and endorsement deals. The glue and inspiration behind some of Drake's business ventures seems to be his brand name, OVO, which is an acronym for October's very own. Drizzy co-founded the OVO Sound record label in 2012, alongside his day one friends, Oliver El Khatib and Noah Shebib, better known as 40. The label has Party Next Door, Majid Jordan, Roy Woods, DVSN, Baka Not Nice, and Popcon, and it's currently distributed by Warner Bros. Records. The OVO label has stores that sell a variety of items, ranging from clothes to notebooks, and in 2018 they made $50 million in sales. Drake has also tried his hand at fashion. In December of 2013, he signed with Nike and Air Jordan and released his own collection of Air Jordans, named the Air Jordan OVOs. In 2020, 
he collaborated with Bathing Ape to release an OVO Bape collection of clothing. In December of that same year, Champagne Poppy launched his Nocta clothing line in collaboration with Nike. The apparel line is named after Drake's nocturnal creative process. Drake worked with Apple in 2015. Following the launch of Apple Music, he became their brand ambassador and signed a $19 million exclusivity deal with the streaming platform. Drizzy started his first business venture in the liquor industry by launching his very own whiskey brand in 2016, called Virginia Black. The brand has been wildly marketed over the years. However, the bourbon-based whiskey never really took off, and in 2021, it was ranked as the worst value celebrity liquor, based on quality and price. In 2019, he began collaborating with Hawking on Mod Selection, a luxury range of champagne. Drake ventured into the film industry in 2017 when he co-founded the production company Dream Crew with Adele Future Noor. The company's most notable production is the HBO series Euphoria, which stars American actress Zendaya. In August of 2022, Drake was among a group of Euphoria producers, nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Drama Series. Pretty impressive, huh? Drizzy clearly has his hands in many pies and even has business interests in the food industry. In May of 2021, he formed part of a $40 million investment in Daring Foods, an analog corporation that produces vegan meat. In September of that same year, he purchased a minority stake in Californian food chain, Dave's Hot Chicken. Now, let's talk about Drake's latest business ventures. In August of 2022, Drake and LeBron James were part of a fund called Main Street Advisors that would partner with private equity groups, Redbird Capital and Yankee Global Enterprises to purchase Italian soccer club AC Milan for a rumored $1.2 billion. Drizzy has also invested in cryptocurrency and NFT payment solutions firm, MoonPay. All these various business ventures has elevated Drake's net worth to $260 million, making him the sixth richest rapper in the world. And his massive fortune is set to get even bigger after signing a multi-year endorsement deal with gambling firm Stake.com. Number 5. Pharrell Williams' net worth has been steadily growing over the years, and it's easy to see why he's currently one of the richest rappers in the world. The rapper and mega producer has made connections across a wide variety of industries, and he isn't afraid to take calculated risks when it comes to business. Pharrell has no doubt made millions upon millions from the music industry. He has written and produced some of the biggest hits for mega superstars such as Madonna, Ariana Grande, and even Maroon 5. He's a creative genius and a jack of all trades, so his creativity isn't confined to the music world. Pharrell has worked across many different industries, and we're gonna unveil some of his biggest business ventures. It's no secret that Pharrell Williams has a passion for fashion. Pharrell's journey into the fashion industry began way back in 2003, when he linked up with Japanese fashion icon, Nigo, to create the influential streetwear brands, Billionaire Boys Club and Ice Cream Footwear. Pharrell co-owns G-Star Raw, a Dutch designer clothing label, and he's the sole owner of Bionic Yarn, an innovative company that transforms recycled ocean plastic into high-quality fabric. In February 2014, Skateboard P announced a collaboration between these two companies to produce a collection of high-end denim. That same year in 2014, Pharrell Williams entered a long-term partnership with footwear giant Adidas. His Adidas NMD Human Race collection was released two years later in 2016. 
In 2017, he designed a $1,000 sneaker in collaboration with Chanel and Adidas. In December of 2021, Pharrell launched the Winter Line Premium Basics in collaboration with Adidas Originals. In 2023, he was hired as the new creative director of Louis Vuitton's menswear division, a position that was left vacant by the death of Virgil Abloh in 2021. His first collection was displayed at the Paris Men's Fashion Week in June of 2023. Skateboard P clearly has a love for high-end jewelry. He has close relations with celebrity jewelers, Gabby Elon, Lorraine Schwartz, and Jacob the Jeweler. In fact, he co-signed his famous nerd chain with Jacob back in 2006. In 2008, he worked with Louis Vuitton and co-designed a series of sunglasses and jewelry for one of their fashion lines. He also designed jewelry for the renowned Tiffany & Co, as well as a line of sunglasses called Montclair Lunettes for fashion house Montclair. In 2019, Pharrell collaborated with Chanel to create diamond and pearl brooches, as well as necklaces and bracelets. Pharrell is often seen wearing these luxury pieces at public events. Skateboard P's creativity has no bounds. Believe it or not, he's the first ever creative director for the Platinum Card Division at American Express. He has full creative control when it comes to the physical design of the credit card, and his role includes creating rewards and benefits for the cardholders. Pharrell had also taken his incredible creativity to the hospitality industry. In 2018, he co-designed the candy-colored interiors for the Swan and Bar Bevy, a restaurant located in the Miami Design District. And in 2021, Pharrell had a hand in the design of a new Miami hotel called Good Time. Wow, this man is truly a creative genius. All these various business ventures grew Pharrell Williams' net worth to $270 million, and all he needs is just that one bright idea that could turn him into an instant billionaire. He clearly has the creative brains to do it. Number 4. Dr. Dre's net worth has taken a massive hit in December of 2021, and it hasn't recovered since. But what happened to his large fortune? Dre was on track to becoming a billionaire rapper in the next few years. What turn of events diminished his net worth to such an extent? Well, before we reveal that, Let's start from the beginning and list exactly how Dr. Dre made his massive fortune. Then we'll reveal how he'd lost almost half of it. Dr. Dre's musical history dates all the way back to the 90s, when he'd achieved worldwide fame with N.W.A. After many internal disputes within N.W.A., the rap group disbanded and Dre joined Suge Knight's Death Row Records where he produced hits for rap superstars such as Tupac Shakur and Snoop Dogg. After numerous disagreements with Suge Knight, the super producer left Death Row Records and started his own record label, Aftermath Entertainment. He first signed Eminem to his label and then later co-signed 50 Cent. In 2001, Dr. Dre sold a stake in Aftermath Entertainment to Interscope Records for a sum of $52 million. Over the years, Dre has earned over $280 million from the music industry. This alone already made him one of the richest rappers in the world. The rest of his large fortune was derived from his audio company, Beats Electronics, which he co-founded in 2006 with Jimmy Iovian, the CEO of Interscope Records. The company released its first product, Beats by Dre headphones in 2008, and they were an instant hit. Beats Electronics quickly became a household name. Six years later in 2014, Apple purchased the Beats brand for $3.4 billion. At the time, Dr. Dre had a 25% stake in the company, 
This left him with $550 million from the deal, and his net worth shot up to $820 million. Turns out that Dre could have been hip-hop's first billionaire if it wasn't for Tyrese Gibson's big mouth. While Apple was on the cusp of finalizing the massive deal, the only thing that could ruin it were if news of the acquisition were to leak. Everyone was to keep quiet. As bad luck would have it, the Fast and Furious star leaked the news of the acquisition on social media a month before it was completed. The Forbes list just changed. They need, hey, it came out like two weeks ago. They need to update the Forbes list. Just changed. In a big way. Oh my. I understand that. Oh my. The first billionaire in hip hop right here from the West Coast. Believe me. Oh. Apple still went ahead with the deal, but because of the social media fiasco, they decided to subtract $200 million from the original purchase price. Ouch. If Therese hadn't opened his big mouth, Dre would have been the first billionaire rapper in the world. But the question still remains, how did Dr. Dre's net worth of 820 million racks drop down to $430 million? Well, Dre's wealth took a serious beating in December of 2021, when he had to pay his ex-wife, Nicole Plotzker, hundreds of millions in a divorce settlement. And during the course of these past few years, Dr. Dre has also had to spend millions of dollars on other lawsuit settlements. The United States judicial system can be quite disgusting at times. It's no wonder the super-rich hide their money in offshore bank accounts. Number 3. Kanye West's net worth has fluctuated wildly in recent years. Do you remember when he was $53 million in debt and begging Mark Zuckerberg and the previous CEO of Google for money? I need your support! I need money! Then he became a multi-billionaire. In fact, he'd reached billionaire status before Jay-Z did. But the people at Forbes kept underestimating his wealth for years until he finally showed them bank statements. Forbes then reluctantly declared him a billionaire, but they still continued to deliberately under-evaluate his impressive net worth. At its peak, Kanye West's net worth stood at an astonishing $6.6 .6 billion, making him the richest black person in U.S. history. Almost all of Kanye's fortune at the time came from his Yeezy shoe brand, which he launched with Nike in 2009 and then brought to Adidas in 2013. Mr. West got paid an unprecedented 15% royalty from Adidas. This earned him more than $150 million annually. Ye was literally on top of the world, and it seemed like nothing could go wrong. Or so we thought. After Kim Kardashian divorced him, Kanye's world began to unravel. He jumped onto various media platforms and started sharing unpopular beliefs and opinions. His outspoken views caused great controversy, and it cost him many sponsorship deals, as well as partnerships. The first companies to cut ties with him were Balenciaga, Def Jam, the CAA Talent Agency, and Gap. The complete breakdown of the Yeezy Gap partnership alone knocked off $1 billion from his net worth. And that was just the beginning. The worst was yet to come. Adidas seemed like they were going to stick it out with Ye, because they make so much money off of him. Yeezy generated Adidas $2 billion per year in revenue. But after retailers started pulling Yeezy products off their shelves, they too decided to terminate their partnership with Ye. Since the vast majority of Kanye West's fortune came from royalties and other earnings related to his Yeezy and Adidas partnership, his entire net worth plummeted by $5 billion. My gosh, this cancel culture is really getting out of control. But rest assured folks, Kanye West is far from broke and he's still one of the richest rappers in the world. Yay! owns $160 million worth of real estate. 
He owns the company KW Foods LLC, which owns the rights to the Fat Burger fast food chain in Chicago. His music catalog, as well as his Good Music record label, is worth $110 million. Kanye still owns 100% of his Yeezy fashion brand, and despite what happened to his public image, his Yeezy line of sneakers is still one of the most popular in the world. Kanye West's net worth is now estimated to be around $600 million. But let's watch this space. Ye is a creative genius and the king of comebacks. He's currently working on new projects in the fashion world with his new wife, architect Bianca Sensori. And he also plans on building his own mini cities under his new brand, Ye Co System, and it'll include branded homes, retail stores, as well as organic food products. Kanye West is definitely going to return to the billionaire club soon, and there's no holding him down. Number two. Diddy has always been one of the richest rappers in the world, even way back in the 90s, thanks to his iconic music label, Bad Boy Records, which had the legendary Biggie Smalls as one of its many talented artists. Bad Boy Records alone earned him an estimated $100 million in royalties. The rest of Diddy's net worth was derived from investments and business ventures outside of the music industry. And we're going to take a look at some of his most profitable ones. In 1998, Diddy started his very first non-music-related business venture, his Sean John clothing line. His velour tracksuits quickly became the epitome of style, and in 2003, California-based billionaire Ronald Burkle invested $100 million into the company. The fashion venture swiftly climbed the ladder of success, and at its peak, Sean John was racking up $450 million annually in retail sales. Diddy later ventured into reality TV with his infamous show, Making the Band, and it was aired on MTV for several seasons. This endeavor added tens of millions to Diddy's net worth. In 2008, he acquired the Ennis clothing line from Liz Claiborne for $20 million. And in 2014, he started his own media company, Revolt TV, a hip-hop-based television network and it also has a film production department. The following year in 2015, Diddy formed a joint partnership with actor Mark Wahlberg and billionaire businessman Ronald Burkle to acquire Aqua Hydrate, a company that produces calorie-free beverages for athletes. They later brought aboard John Cochran, former president of Fiji Water, to be the CEO of the company. In 2019, Diddy became a major investor in PlayVS, a tech company that provides infrastructure for competitive gaming to high schools in the United States. Twitch co-founder Kevin Lin also invested heavily in the company. The above-mentioned business ventures have earned Diddy hundreds of millions over the years, but his massive net worth is mostly derived from booze, particularly from his partnership with Ciroc, Diddy agreed to help develop the premium vodka brand way back in 2007 in return for 50% of the profits, and this has been his main revenue source ever since. His beverage empire also includes ownership in Dillion Tequila. Diddy's multiple sources of income are well diversified, and he further expanded his business empire in 2023 by making a massive investment in the legal cannabis industry with a $185 million deal to acquire various licensed cannabis companies across three states. As of right now, Diddy is the owner of the first and largest black-owned cannabis company in the world. Pretty impressive, right? This major cannabis investment has catapulted the business mogul into the billionaire club, as his net worth is now estimated to be around $1 billion, making him the second richest rapper in the world.
Number one. Jay-Z's net worth has doubled over the past two years. His immense wealth went from strength to strength as his vast business empire keeps expanding. Jigga has made hundreds of millions of dollars from the music industry alone. Believe it or not, Jay-Z raked in more than $250 million from his joint world tour with his wife Beyonce in 2018. Sounds crazy, right? But the majority of his net worth comes from a string of non-music-related investments and business ventures. We're going to do a deep dive analysis and uncover how Jigga really made his massive fortune. One of Jay-Z's first business ventures was his Rockaware clothing line, which he launched with his business partner, Damon Dash, in 1999. It was sold eight years later to the Iconics brand group for $204 million, and he's been one of the richest rappers in the world ever since. The growth of his entertainment company Rock Nation, which he founded in 2008, also helped boost his net worth. In 2015, Jay-Z made a significant investment in Jet Smarter, an app that helps people book private executive flights. That same year, in 2015, he acquired the Norwegian tech company Aspiro and media streaming service Tidal for $56 million. Six years later, in 2021, he sold his majority stake in Tidal to Jack Dorsey for $297 million. Jack Dorsey was the owner of Twitter before Elon Musk acquired it. Jigga is also in the cannabis industry, in 2020, he launched Monogram, a company which sells a luxury line of cannabis products. His biggest and most recent business deal was on December the 5th, 2022, when he announced his partnership with Caesars Entertainment to build and operate a casino property located in Times Square, New York. Now, last but not least, are his biggest earners, his liquor brands. Jay-Z owns Doucet, a luxury cognac brand that's extremely popular with young African-American entrepreneurs. But the liquor brand which contributes the most to his net worth is Armand de Brignac Champagne, also known as Ace of Spades. Jigga had sold 50% of Ace of Spades to the Louis Vuitton Moed Hennessy Group. Since then, Distribution of his gold bottle brand has expanded worldwide, and the brand now enjoys very profitable sales in new markets such as Asia and Africa. All these wise investments and smart business ventures grew Jay-Z's net worth to $2.5 billion, making him once again the richest rapper in the world.